Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we got some death row inmates. We've currently only got the one... Um... Uh-oh. No, they're not that. They're on the way, probably. We hope. Uh, yeah, we got one <laughs> death row inmate come in. And um, they had their sentence quickly reduced to life imprisonment. They went through the death row appeal and they are somewhere in the prison. They didn't have any traits, so there's nothing really to worry about there. However, there is another prisoner, uh, would be Duncan Fairbairn, who is around somewhere. We should probably figure out just exactly where. Um, hang on, death row. They are... Hang on, they are on their way. Yes, there we are. And 71 years for multiple crimes including murder, attempted murder and armed robbery. Tough and stalkal. And they have a 31% chance of having their sentence reduced. So we'll just have to see how that one goes. Obviously we do have a fair amount of uh, capacity in there. We do have a total of 6 cells. Sorry, 5 cells. So this shouldn't be any real problem. Anyway, in this episode what I want to do is really crack on and get some more of the high risk areas up and running so let's just do that so we'll go to deployment change that to max sec and probably won't matter once we start building these cells and we're going to go to quick build and clone and we're just going to start cracking on and uh, doing as much as we can so obviously we're just going to clone everything that we possibly can do and hopefully there won't be any mistakes made and then we'll just uh, see how far we get on with that one. Obviously a lot of this stuff inside they won't be able to get to and inevitably the workers will probably try and get to the inside rather than putting the uh, <laughs> rather than put the uh, bit on the outside. In fact, you know what I might do? I might focus on the outside door. So, ooh, the warden. A uh, water pipe has burst and is flooding and we need to fix it. And that's a problem because it's getting close to that metal detector. Right. So I guess we have to fix that large water pipe. We will prioritise that and crack on. We will not be able to shut that down because it's... Is it connected to that? I think it might be. Um, I don't know if it'll spread that fire, actually. No, it doesn't look like it's going to spread that far. It doesn't just constantly flood the prisoner until it's water walled. Which would be a shame, because that would be a really decent uh, little add-on. <laughs> um, and there we go, that's just a quick fix. It's just a quick fix, quite easy. Okay, so we are cracking on over here, as you can see. We do need to... Ooh, yes, there's been mistakes made already. Hang on, then. Um, why is there a double wall? What the hell has happened there? What has happened there? The one on the left seems to be working on it alright. Just that one there, not so much. They're all alright. For some reason that one's a bit iffy. Huh. Oh well. Clone that. Place that there. There we are. Okay. Should be done now. Right, so. We want to run some electrical cable, like so. Um, this one, we'll just run to there. That'll be fine. Um, as we can see, that is being powered by... Oh, a problem! That is being powered by that, which has nowhere near enough power to actually power all of this. We will turn that off. Right. We need to reroute some electrical cable. We need to probably cut off these. Connect this up to there. These two can power the left-hand side, and that can power there. Okay, there we go. Already already sorted. Don't worry about it. So, dismantle utility, that one and that one. And we'll focus on that. And then we will be able to run the rest up. Don't know why that doesn't change to what it originally was. There we are. Okay. So, we'll remove these, as I said, and then connect up here, like that. And then we'll run further up, and well, this one will be st this one will be fine because we're removing two four metal detectors off it, so that's going to reduce the load quite a bit. Yeah, that's a substantial saving on that one. And then so once we powered all this up, we should be fine. So we've got five minimum security prisoners and two normal. What we're going to do is go over to our intake and then turn on our max sec, which is going to give us a total of twenty-two maximum security prisoners, <laughs> which is a hell of a lot more. So, that's going to be uh, worrying. We probably need to get some more staff, uh, more guards. We'll go up to a total of 70 guards. Again, probably overdone a lot of this, but uh, hey-ho. Nothing excels like excess, or exceeds like excess. Uh, there was a 
Bit of a dog sniff there. Don't think that'll be anything of a great note. So... Just checking over there. That should be fine. The workers are probably still putting all of this in, which is the case. Yes, that's okay. As I said, this will be the last electrical cable that will be connected to this coloured grid and then over on the left hand side we're going to use um, we're going to use this one here which you might have to alter as well because we are planning on having the workshop around here we might have to have a, a little generator in the corner but we'll see how it goes we'll probably it'll just we'll just put what we can in there and and leave it it'll only be a small one uh, currently sleep time we'll do a shakedown because we haven't done one in quite some time because it will be worth uh, keeping that going. Obviously, we've now got over a thousand places, 1,126 places to be precise to actually search. But we do have some more guards as well to to do that. Um, looks like the work uh, the workers are still yeah they're still over there, and the cooks are cleaning at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, I guess uh, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. Exports are still going out, so bank balance is fairly healthy. We did sell some of our shares. It's going to cost us 97 grand to buy them back. Quite a bit of money. We'll just check our prison grading. We can see that reoffending rate's gone down by a percent, which is good. We've got a total of 338 um, prisoners paroled early, which is a 2% reoffending rate. Punishment has gone up to 7, so that's alright. Reform 6, Security 1, Health is still low. I think that's just because of the amount of drugs that can be flung in and smuggled in over the wall and such. Well, flung, flung in over the wall and smuggled in. We do have dogs sniffing out and things like that, but you just you can't find everything. We just do our best. So, in the morning, shower time. Still searching all of this, and... The workers are still not focusing on that. I'm going to turn that shakedown off. And the reason why they've taken so long is probably because they've been stuck on a door somewhere. And there'll be one or two doors. They've just been um, stuck. So Now, that that reoffending rate, by the way, 7%, is really good. And the reason I think that's gone down is because we haven't received any high-risk prisoners in probably 20 days, 30 days even, maybe. So that's why I think... That is the case. Let's just go over to MaxSec again, change all that to MaxSec, and uh, that'll alter our intake there. That's fine. We need to go over to utilities, to the water pipe, and then obviously just connect all the water pipe up there as well. We also need to do all of the extra stuff, which is guard patrols. You can see we've got an armed patrol that goes right around this area here, so we're going to do the same thing. We do have enough armed guards, I believe, but I will double check. Um, in terms of armed guards, we have a total of 16 out of maximum of 18. Let's just hire two more, because why not? I know there's loads hanging around there, but we have the money to do this, so we might as well go ahead. We're going to go over to objects and to the guard tower. I want to place one, two, and then three. And actually, you know what? Uh, four, five, six. I don't think we're going to place them down here. I don't think it's necessary. I think we're just going to forego that one. It'll just be far too much. If we were going to do that, we'd probably get rid of these and then put them down there. So, yeah. And we probably don't even need these ones here. Do we want to get rid of these? You know what I'm going to get rid of? I'm going to get rid of those. Dismantle that one and dismantle that one. Just because we don't need oversight across all of this. Originally, this was going to be our supermax area, and that's why we put so many in, but we don't have that. So having them just around there is fine. It might be prudent to place one of them here, because that's where there's like a there's an exit there. And maybe maybe keep that one, because that's the only way in or, in or out. That would make sense. Because if they're trying to blitz out attempt... Are you taking that tower down while he's still in it? You, you might want to tell him that <laughs> the sniper's up the top. You can just hear creaking and groaning and bolt shearing off. What's that noise? I'm not really too sure what that is. And then uh, crunch. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Uh, let me place that back. I think having it near that entrance would be would be a decent thing. Um, we could have it around here as well because you know you generally get fights around this area here. Ooh, death. Death. Where death? Where death happened? Um, more fighting still. Why is there no guards around here? Do we not have any guards? We should really assign a guard in there. Snitch checks law enforcement fearless. Yeah, because I didn't uh, didn't check. Right. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'll just activate them all. 
get them all activated. We'll see if there's anyone targeted. Because there's some traits here that we're not aware of. So. That's the thing that I, I, I would be very, I would be <laughs> definitely up for some way to have automatic, I wouldn't say interrogation, but when someone is brought in the reception, they are searched. It would be nice if there was like a profiling system. Yeah, you can see that guy's been targeted there. We've also got almost a legendary prisoner here. That's a Brandon The Rock uh, Center, prison number 74092362. Um, extremely tough, extremely strong, deadly, and instigator. Those are, that that person is definitely not a normal risk. <laughs> They're high risk. This is what I'm saying. That it would be nice if, after bring going through the reception, you can put them through something else, which would be not really an interrogation type thing, but would be more of a more of a profiling. Um, system where you talk to the prisoner, you find out their traits, um, you know exactly what they are, and then you can change their grading and and such. The problem with that would be the balancing. Then, if you can do that, then where would the randomness be? Um, you know, randomness in, isn't inherently good or bad, um, but it's just if you know it all, is that like I don't know? Does that take away from? Uh, is that an element that's been taken away? I don't know. I, th I think it might be. Uh, maybe there should be a downside from profiling them, apart from just, you know, a money, uh, you know, something that just costs you. If it just costs you, then it's a bit, bit boring. There should be something else on top of that, but, you know. So, let's just place these extra cells. These are going to be the graded high risk. So... Just gonna double check to see if anyone wants to be a confidential informant. It says thirteen in lockdown, one in solitary confinement, and one dead body. Uh, the thirteen in lockdown, I assume, some of that d does that include these guys here? I really don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, so let's go over to our flooring here and concrete tiles, which obviously will run not there because that's all kinds of wrong, uh, which will run up here. And across. And down. Across there. And across there. And that'll be most of it done. But when we put the... When we put these... When we clone these, then it'll be different. In fact, clone, we might as well do it now. So, quick build clone. Copy all of that. One. And then two. There we are. All right. Again, a lot of money. So much money that uh, so much stuff that we ordered that goes to the bottom of the screen and scrolls off it. But hey ho. So still have our death row inmate there sleeping. You see, they do have some needs which we are trying to fulfil. You know, things like sleep, hygiene, comfort. That they it all can be gained from there. Privacy as well. They have televisions, radios, bookshelves, showers, everything else. So in a fairly big cell. I mean, they still are in there in prison on death row so it's you know not an ideal situation so there you go i'm gonna go over to our programs go right down to where is it it's actually right down guard test certification oh two in queue that's fine i was gonna stop it but if there's some in the queue then there's no reason to to remove that one a uh, foundation education program you see it says uh 20 in interested but if we add more it's not going to fire that up so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to remove the guard test certification, and then I'm going to turn on foundation education again, and it's still all the rooms booked. If we reschedule all that, it's still not going to do it, which is strange. Don't know why that is. Although, because I've rescheduled that, I'm going to have to edit the schedule now to make sure... Oh, no, it doesn't matter. The death row appeal has been pinned. I must have pinned that, so that's okay. Because normally when you do that, it changes it, and it's just a big nightmare. Right. So, we're not going to do a shakedown tonight. We're searching... We, we keep getting some readings around here from the dogs thinking that there's a a tunnel but no i don't think so that's a possibility but they'd, they'd smell a lot more than that they'd detect a lot more anyway so again still more intake there now uh, we haven't looked at our graphs in a while uh, this is a number of prisoners and uh, the prison value can you see the bit where we had that huge fire and the problem there it is that's that spike there. A uh, number of prisoners and number of staff you can see has... Whoa. 
Well, that's an interesting graph, actually. It shows that around about this point, this is where, I reckon that's where we turned off the intake for high risk. Slowly went down. And then this is the bit here. This will probably be where we turned on, uh, we moved the high risk over to the left-hand side. And then we then turned on the intake for normal risk on the old high risk cell block. And that's where we've got this little jolt here. And then again, it slowly goes down and that's where we opened up high risk intake. Yeah, that's what it was. We've also just had a grant completion. If we go over to the grants, we can see we've now got cell block E, which we might as well accept because it's going to give us 60 grand. So, um, what do I need to finish building? Well, I am of the opinion that once we've done this, a perimeter wall all the way around here is in order. Even though it's going to cost us a lot of money, I think it's still going to be worth it. So we'll place it to there. Obviously around here, not possible. We also have a perimeter wall around here, but we don't have the barbed wire, which I should really finish off. But there was more pressing matters. So barbed wire, we've still got all of this in stock. So it's not going to cost us anything because I did order it all. Um, I wonder if I can scroll out and go faster. Yes, there we go. And along to there. And we also do eventually want to put these, uh, the road gates in and the road blocks, but yeah, we'll leave it for now. Um, my question is, do I want barbed wire across here? Barbed wire across this area would be okay, but because of the amount of snipers we've got, do I really need it? I'm not entirely convinced. I'm going to dismantle that one, by the way. Um, actually, no, hang on. Which one was it we're going to do? We're going to leave that one, weren't we? Yeah, leave the middle ones. Right, that's fine. Uh, we're also going to have to recruit some more because we've only got eight snipers. Hire six more. That should be fine. We have to change all that to max sec. Which will probably alter what we've got. I do need to... Interrogate some more. Interrogate. Have a chat with some more informants. So, this can run. And across. Pipe can run to there. Just make sure all these are in. Right, so that should be all set now. Should be all connected up. Now, this area on the left is obviously the expansion area. Um, and we didn't necessarily plan, plan it so that they're not allowed to the right, but we wanted to make sure that they are more likely to go to, uh, to the left. So they can wander around here if they want, but they want to go ideally to this canteen because it's closer now if we check logistics the food distribution should be of that yes it is so that's so they are they will go here but the other stuff like the showers they can have they can use these and because they're outside we can't change it now if i put a door on there on these areas here and then force them open the showers will then be in actually no they won't be indoor because these are not foundation that's a problem Hmm. I was going to say, we put doors on here, we'd set these areas to say that would be low risk, that would be normal risk. And then it means that the only available ones, these would technically be anyone, so it doesn't stop anyone on the right coming here, um, but they're more likely to use those. But I just don't think we can do that. We just don't have the uh, ability to do that. So Fairburn's still over there, as you can see, got some family needs, but... Nothing much we can do about that because they're not allowed to speak to uh, anyone. They're not allowed to go to visitation. Danger level slowly going up. Not too sure why. To check needs, you can see we've got mm, medium needs for things. So they're shackled in their cells, and it's because the armed guards in service. We have got a lot of armed guards, to be fair. We've also got on free fire, which we don't need it to be on free fire now because we haven't got any legendary prisoners, but. You know what? Yeah, we'll leave it. So, the reason it's taken quite a while for the stuff on the left to be completed is because they've been spending all this time placing the barbed wire on the top of the fence there.
So that's all now placed. Let me be fair, that is... That is a fairly secure area with all that barbed wire. I don't know where I would place the barbed wire. Would you place the barbed wire on the first or second one? I don't know. Let me prioritise all this because I don't know what the workers are doing. Jobs. It's pretty much unreadable these days. No, it's saying they've got the jobs on there, so... Don't know why they're taking so long. Just want to check the deployment here to make sure that we're all about right. Which it is. Should really have the workshop as access only. Like you only want to go in there when you're using it, not going there to steal stuff. Right, that's fine, I think. That's fine. Right, so we have no food or water around there. Food or water? Uh, we have no electricity or water around there, so we need to sort that out. I'm going to get some more deployments on here, so we want armed patrols. And it's going to be same as the other ones, so it's along to there. Uh, we can barely see the the planning, but we don't need to because all we're doing is we're following the ones that are built at the bottom, which is hard, easy to see. And then we'll just use the uh, bits at the top there so we can do that, and then we've got that all set. We do have dog patrols around there, we have dog patrols around here, and then ones around here as well. So the chances of someone escaping through there are pretty slim. Um, I just don't know what all the workers are doing. They're taking their sweet, sweet time doing stuff. Um, 14 arresting. We do have a lot of a lot of staff. Um, speaking of staff, how many cooks do we have? 20. Um, I'm going to hire another couple of cooks. A couple of gardeners as well. Um, oops, didn't mean to hire another gardener, but hey-ho. Um, we'll hire two more dog patrols as well. Again, overstaffing it, but considering we're going to get a lot more Irish prisoners here, then I think it's worth it. Why is that not being connected up yet? Because for whatever reason, it's just randomly stopped bits of this. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. At least having the yard times worked out now. I'm glad about that. Right, so we've got more prisoners here. Let's just check our... Oh, I thought that was... I thought that was a lot of question marks there. Yeah. Have we got more prisoners? Um... So we will, as always, wait until the eat time's finished and then we will have a chat with the informants. With these being high risk, the chances of them having traits like snitch and ex-cop or whatever are quite slim. But uh, it's always best we, we check because we could have legendary prisoners for all we know. Although normally they do, they're, they're not, you can see them, they're physically larger than other prisoners, you know, they're very imposing that way. So let's just activate all of our all of our informants here. And we'll see what traits we have. Or if anyone's being targeted. There's our practically legendary prisoner. Extremely strong, extremely tough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set them to supermax. And they will be brought to here. Because that's what it's there for. So, we're having a natter. We can see that there are some people targeted there. Or rather in danger. But nothing nothing in the main section here. And no legendary prisoners that I can see. So that's fine. That's okay. Just waiting for the workers to finish that. I don't know what they're doing. I'm guessing... Yeah, normally the workers are removing trees. That generally seems to be their lot in life. Um... <laughs> When you're not doing something else, remove trees. In fact, even when you're supposed to be doing something else, remove trees. And that's still a glitch. Look at that. That's a problem. You've got the snipers in the towers, and then the other snipers try to go up there. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Let's try and resolve it. I wonder if it's just a case of there's too many snipers. Like if you have too many snipers, do they all try to get up to a tower? They don't just say, well, I'm not needed up there, so they're not going to do that. I don't know. But we'll place some other sniper towers... Or with that, uh, we'll, we'll prioritise. No, we won't prioritise it because our priority should be around here for the electricity, which again is not done. And we'll have to run that up to there and there. 
and that should be all right. And then we should have power. We still don't have line of sight. It's still an issue, but yeah, there you go. I just want to check our prison labor as well that this is all set, which it is. And there we are. So Duncan is probably still... He's got three days without incident. And they're probably going to go for another death row appeal at some point. It just doesn't look like it's going to be any time soon. Um, there's the workers building these towers. And hopefully once those towers are built, then the snipers will come along and go in there. So if I can see you get in that guard tower, you get in that guard tower. If I just move them to there, they are pissed off so they're moving really slowly. No, they're just going to stand around. Okay, I don't know what to do about that one. That's a bit of a weird one. Maybe with the maybe with these now being placed, they should uh, go over there. But we'll see. Anyway, we are going to leave it there. Next episode, we will, I reckon, either do the workshop, which we do have enough power for, or we get the high-risk area done. I'm more thinking the workshop, because it means more workshop, more money, but... We'll see how it goes. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.